Okay, so here we are in Fusion. What I'll do is I'll go through each rendered path in this particular shot, shot number 27. With each node that I go on, it will be selected, so it will turn that pale yellow colour. And you can keep track of where I am through this at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so the first rendered path I did would be the background. I decided to use the brightness and contrast tool on this, just to brighten it up a little bit to make it more visible to the camera. The next render was the beginning of The Strangers. This is the first render that I did of them. This is straight from Max, where they're just plain white. You can see at, um, to the right that they are added with a luminosity layer, so just to add brightness to them. And then their gain was taken down, so that in the final shot, this layer is quite see-through. So you can see through the creatures, you can see through their arms and onto the background. I added a glow to them to give the strangers their glow around the edge of their arms and legs and things. So that will be visible through the other layers that I will put on top of the creatures. The next render I did was the speckled pattern that's on the creatures. This is just a noise or a smoke map um, applied to them as a texture in Max and then rendered off. And this is what you're left with. It was just to give them a little bit of variation so their texture wasn't so flat. This was added with a color dodge tool so that it um, just lit up parts of the luminosity layer which is underneath it. Next for the strangers, I um, this is another render straight from Max. And um, this layer is just to give them some shape, to give them some form, let you know where they're curved. This layer was added on in a soft light, so it just gave them that little final touch. I then adjusted all of these layers using a color adjust or color correct tool. I masked this off using one of the previous layers. Next, I rendered off a layer for their masks. So this path has only got their masks visible to the camera. I added a glow to their masks just um, to make them more visible and to add, make them look a bit more creepy. And so that was the layer for background and the background creatures are finished. So next I rendered out the whole foreground just on one part. So this includes the shadow for the girl because it's including the key light, but the girl herself is still invisible to the camera. Next, I um, rendered out a fill light um, for the character. So this just includes the character girl on her own with all the fill lights turned on. Next, I rendered out a bounce light for the girl. So this is the girl lit from underneath. Here you can see the main light for the girl, the key light, just lighting her um, from the front. I used a brightness contrast node to brighten up the little girl a little bit, just so that she fit better with the rest of the scene. And when you add all those to the background, this is the result. I added motion blur to the little girl using a motion blur node. I didn't need to add it to any anything else in the shot. It was just for the little girl, just to give her a little bit of blur when she's walking backwards. I went through the same process as I did with the background creatures to create the foreground stranger who is on the stage behind the little girl. So the white beginning and then the um, diffuse middle, just to give it some breaking up of colour using a noise mask from Max. And then the next layer, which was just to give it some shape. And then when you um, when I finished, I added another colour corrector. I made this one a little bit more purple just to give it some great um, variation from the background characters. And then I put an AO ambient occlusion on the entire scene, I could have done separate ambient occlusion passes for all the different characters. But again, I thought I could get away with just doing the one, so that's what I did. I still had the same map control because I could use masks if I needed to. And then that was the shot finished.